Who said women couldn't write microtonally? I'm the Classical Nerd, and today we're talking about Mildred Cooper. Mildred Cooper was born to British parents in Buenos Aires in 1887. Her mother was an opera singer, and so she knew music from a very early age. She was homeschooled, and her education was supplemented by way of yearly travels to Europe over the summers. After a short stint at the Buenos Aires Conservatory, her father died, and subsequently she completed her musical education in Europe, where she studied under Nadia Boulanger. While in Europe, she met an American expatriate whose last name was also Cooper, albeit with a different spelling. When they married, she just changed one letter of her last name. Since hyphenated names really weren't a thing, Cooper Cooper she was not to be, but that would have been funny. World War I forced the couple to the United States, where they settled in California. And there, Cooper experimented in the realm of the quarter tone. Much like Charles Ives' father had done, she took two pianos and detuned one of them to get the notes between the notes. The quarter tones, thereby generating 24 notes per octave instead of the usual 12. She immediately set to work on a ballet called Xanadu, which used this particular style. Her piece Dirge, for two pianos tuned in quarter tones, attracted the attention of Henry Cowell, who set about publishing it in his journal. Cooper's work in microtones was exclusively in the realm of the quarter tone, given their immediacy of access with her two piano technique, as well as easy integration into Western notation. She knew the experimental composer Harry Parch, who was to found his own school of composition based around 43 tones to the octave, and was also familiar with the myriad tunings inherent in Indonesian gamelan music. She felt, like many microtonal composers, as if quarter tones merely constituted the first step towards freeing music further towards any conceivable pitch. She also thought that quarter tones were best suited to the nature of the piano's sound without sounding too out of tune. She cited string player's technique of vibrato as an impracticality, that something that would just get in the way of accurate quarter tones, or really any microtone at all, on stringed instruments. Cooper could speak five languages and was influential throughout the Santa Barbara area. Her home there was named after Claudio Monteverdi, and she continued her activities as a music educator up until her death in 1974. 